this video we're going to be replacing a sound system in my church's chapel. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So when it comes to the tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills, this is going to be one of those bills where we're, um, we built a new sanctuary about maybe seven years ago. Um, so the chapel is really can be rented out and the learning center uses that building as well as um, for Bible study and things like that church meeting and things like that but for whatever reason we've been having some issues with the sound system that was installed maybe over 25 years ago so uh, pretty much we did some research on what we need to change especially technology has changed since the old sound system so I met with the well they the trustees tasked me to go and research and get some information because again I'm not a sound guy um, I use sound but all the bells and whistles that goes into sound that's not my forte but did some research after getting some help and I, I had some video originally when I was um, asking somebody to help me with that, I'm gonna need to find if I can dig that that video up. But pretty much, we're replacing the four speakers and the two floor monitors and our 12 channel mixer. Um, so again, that used to handle all of the instruments, the drums, bass, and everything like that. But where currently we don't use that. So. This is going to be a good upgrade, and I'm not putting it in the final position because I need some help to hang these new monitors on the wall, but we'll get to that. So we ended up getting um, a Behringer 12 channel, and when I stop driving, I'll actually uh, do a breakdown of how everything is. But we replaced all that with two powered, powered speakers that have, um, so we don't need to use our amps because those amps are old as well too. Um, and I think this is going to be a good upgrade and the idea is we have a church meeting this Saturday so we want to have this in place so that we can, everybody can see and hear the difference. So let me finish driving and I will be back once we're in the church. All right, I'm here in the chapel at uh, my church and I want to show you what we're actually going to be replacing. All right, so up here we have one, two, three, four old speakers, and there used to be some wedges, floor monitors back here. So yeah, that's it, that's one and two over there. And we have an old sound system that needs to be, I mean, a, a mixer that's up there with some amps that are gonna be replaced. So when I talk to, the people at the audio store. This is what they recommended. We have two powered um, speakers and we talked to them about what we had and we don't need as much. These will blow out what all those other speakers were doing. And we had a couple of choices between our 12 channel mixer and this is actually the one that they recommended. Excuse me, it's a 16, not 12. Um, that's what we're going with, so I'm going to replace that upstairs, and right now, because we have a church meeting, I don't have a ladder to get up here, so I'm going to be hooking this up temporarily into the jacks right now, because we have to test if the jack wiring is good as well, too. So some of these have been jacked up as well, and probably going to need to be replaced. They will need to be replaced, but right now, probably not going to go through that, because they've been dented up and everything, and this is been like this for years so ultimately I'm gonna come back in here that's one two three four five six seven seven eight and then those mics nine ten are gonna be replaced and rewired and there's some cool um, stuff I've seen to where you can actually run multiple channel um, XLRs and things like that over one cat 6 cable so it's like an adapter that goes just like on the, 
the floor like I showed you, but everything is connected through um, one ethernet cable. So if I have to run new wiring, that's the way it's gonna be. Cause I think when they ran this, they stapled the wires to the wood. So I, it would be more destruction of me having to rip up the whole um, pulpit to get to that stuff. So I'm not gonna do that, but let's go ahead and open up the, this Behringer mixer and let's see what is in there. All right, so this is gonna be a little difficult cause I don't have a tripod with me. So this is the Behringer X1222 USB. Not gonna be using the USB part right now, but again, we're thinking future. So when we did the upgrade, I have some cameras that I can move over here into this side of the chapel where we can tie all this stuff in. Like I said, this is difficult with one hand. All right, so we got everything on. We only got one mic plugged in right now. But as you can see, I have a sound system going on. So that's pretty cool. And I can always I think that's kind of low for our audio, but again, this hasn't been tweaked or anything like that, so we have to work towards that. But this is kind of good that like we what I normally do for setups, I set up everything in place instead of trying to hang everything in place and it not work. So this is a good test that we know everything works. So now I need to just reposition some of this stuff. All right, and to my surprise, the system was actually on, which is not good. I don't know how long this has been on, but we're gonna pull this out and replace it. And this, let's see if I can do a side by side. So just in a, it's a slanted ceiling, so I can't stand it so tall. But that's just in the comparison of what it used to be and what it is now. So let me go ahead and pull the old one out and put the new one in. See, I almost forgot. So I took a bunch of pictures so I can remember what everything was set at. So that way if we had to roll back, I knew exactly where everything was. All right, so I got everything set up temporarily based off of how it originally was. There may be two or three cables that I don't have set up, and I think a lot of that is probably tied to this old CD changer over here. Um, so let me go down here and test out some of the mics to see what's working and what's not working. All right, so I am coming through the system right now, and I noticed that a couple of these jacks are not working, but the wiring up there needs to be changed. They do not have an XLR connection up there, but they do have a quarter inch. So technically I could use that, but based on my setup right now, I can't do that. Actually, let me take that back. I can use these and connection back here can go to a quarter inch either my mistake now for me just to find cables so I can use those all right so I went up on the ladder to try and see if I can connect to those but they're just wires that are ran with um, push pins that are locked down so there's no terminal connection on those so I um, have to pretty much talk back with the trustee and we're gonna have to well, pull these monitors pull these speakers down and then hopefully if the wires aren't stapled in, we could tape an extra cable in there and pull them to that location. Hopefully there, somebody didn't tack them down inside the walls. I'm hoping from that connection right there, if I can zoom in, from that connection right there, hopefully what happened is they ran it up into that drop ceiling and then just pulled it across. That would be ideal. Cause that way if they do that then that'll be really easy to pull the cable out of the way and then re-pull some new ones so in running that i would use that same hole there put a cap on it make it a little bit prettier run it up run it across here and then to that corner right there and then drop it down under the wall and put like a conduit right under the ledge on the opposite side of that run it all the way across to there that would be my suggestion 
And when it comes to the mics, um, a couple of them work, but a couple of them need to be redone. I would talk to them about that as well. So this is working. I'm gonna clean this up so <laughs> I can get over here. I'm gonna clean this up so that it can be used for our church meeting this Saturday, uh, which I'm gonna use the um, quarter inches. I think it's a couple upstairs. I'm gonna hook those up to the jacks that are right there. <laughs> yeah, somewhere right there to make sure it works. If it does, then we're gonna be good. And um, I will give them a quote on doing the rest of that stuff, which is mainly work and get the 30 foot ladder because I'm only 5'5", so I definitely, I have that that and I'm barely <laughs> being able to touch that so I'm a short guy but hey we get it working so all right so as a temporary fix I am back here at the store um, the cabling and the speakers like I said are, are not gonna work but we need the system to be working for our church meeting this Saturday so what I'm gonna do is repurpose one of the microphone inputs and turn that into a speaker output, which would require me to do some gender swapping on the cable. So I'm back here and I got a female coupler here and I got a male coupler here. So what I'm gonna do is use the mic input and repurpose that one that's on the pulpit, turn that into a speaker. So I need to put the adapter onto that that's gonna go into the mixer and then on the floor, use another adapter there so that that way it connects to the back of the speaker. And I'm using a loop through for the other speaker. So I only need one cable going into one speaker, then it's a return from that speaker into the other one. So let's head back to the church. So this is the microphone jack that I was gonna repurpose. It's already wired. So in here, that's why I'm using the coupler to convert over. So that way we can repurpose this connection and then we're gonna go hook this one up upstairs. All right, so that's just the difference right there. So I need to readjust this so, cause it's so much smaller than the other one. I need to move this bracket here forward some so it can rest on that but let's turn everything on and let's give it a test if we hear squeaking we know it's not working all right I heard the pop so I think we're actually good so let me go down and test out and I got a labeler that I'm gonna put the labels for each mic but Let's go ahead and hook this up. And again, this is just temporary so that we can use the system for our meeting. Um, but originally we're gonna do some XLR cables, run it across that baseline up there, go up in the wall, then cut over to the tiles and then come down where that speaker is right there in the same way on the side. The speaker is gonna come down and the speakers are gonna go up there. All right, I'm hearing a little feedback, so I think that's good. So let's go ahead and test this. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Yep, that worked. Yay! Testing one, two, testing. All right, so that worked. So yay! Everything is gonna be good for Saturday and um, we'll still need some new work to put in when we actually put the rest of the stuff in place. So I'm probably going to need to redo these jacks. So I went ahead and put tape on the ones that are not working. And there's no point in having those. So I can actually pull those down completely, redo the jack to only one jack is there. That would make that work really good. And I'm really happy about this. I'm going to leave this up here so everyone can see how everything is working. So cool. So hope you like this type of content if do if you do <laughs> i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell notification that way you get notified when we come out with other new videos this is aj and we will see you on the next video later